Excellent! What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. For today's video, I thought I would lighten up and play some freaking video games. Uh, but more to the point, I will be testing this system that I just built uh, to celebrate the launch of Ryzen 3. Uh, this is my formerly $525 Ryzen 3 system build that uh, the video telling you how to build it yourself just posted a few days ago, so uh, check that link out if you want to check out how to put the system together. Uh, and I'm going to be testing this in a variety of games today, and I'm going to be showing you gameplay uh, with actual performance on screen. Now, I quickly need to mention that this is the now $555 version of that build because I actually don't have a, a 2 gig GTX 1050 to use, so this is the 4 gig GTX 1050 Ti that's installed in there. Other than that, all the components are pretty much the same, uh, and I have been doing some setup on this. The setup, if you guys aren't familiar with the procedures to go through, check out my first five things to do after you build a new PC video because I've pretty much gone through almost all of that so far, uh, and that, that I'm actually have this system going over to this monitor right here. It's also passing through my capture system right now, so I'm going to be capturing the stuff directly. So it's only going to be testing gameplay, not gameplay and streaming or anything like that. And I should be able to, on the fly, show you guys what's going on with my shortcut keys. I also have another camera that's set up uh, right up here, actually, so that will uh, get me while I'm actually playing the games. And then, as you might be able to see from on screen right now, I've actually uh, done some quick overclocking. I did uh, an update to the BIOS for uh, our motherboard, uh, our ASUS Prime B350M-A, so we're on version 805 right now, uh, with the newest AGESA support from AMD. Uh, we got the Ryzen 3 1200 installed, and I overclocked it to 3.85 gigahertz. It's actually running about 3.84 gigahertz right now. Uh, and that's been pretty stable and pretty cool for me thus far, so hopefully that remains so while I'm actually gaming. Uh, it was a very simple overclock to input, so if you guys are interested, I will also put a link to my How to Overclock Ryzen 5 video, which also applies just the same to Ryzen 3. Uh, the memory is also set up. Uh, I've got 16 gigs installed, and it's running at uh, 2933, or just about 2933 at cast latency 16. And then the video card for now, I'm just going to leave running it at stock frequency, which is already overclocked out of the box by MSI. So that's my hardware setup. As for software, I'm just going to be running MSI Afterburner to show you guys the on-screen overlay of performance as I'm gaming. And that's about enough introduction, I think, for now. I need to get Steam installed, actually, and some games copied over. And then I'm going to hit it and start playing some video games. It's been a, been a while since I played some video games, actually. So the rest of the setup actually took a little bit longer than expected because I had to do some game copying and everything, but here's how it's going to go down. I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. We're starting off with Grand Theft Auto 5 right now. I'm going to either go for 60 frames per second or just as many frames per second as possible if uh, the game happens to be getting more than that. As for settings, I'm going to be playing all the games at 1920 by 1080 um, and then I'm going to be using mostly high settings that I would typically use when I would run benchmarks, but I'll run through them just so you guys can take a look. Uh, and then I might be adjusting settings as I go, um, depending on how the game is performing, to get us a better frame rate and everything. So our frame rate and uh, performance is displayed up there in the top left. There's supposed to be a... there's a bike. You look like an ugly woman. Okay, fine. Let's get a little downhill action going here. I'll make for the road. Nothing can go wrong. God. Hey. All right. When I play Grand Theft Auto, I use a, a, a controller when I'm driving. Go to the meth lab. That's a pretty standard mission for GTA 5. Pretty good performance so far. It's uh, been up well well above 60 FPS. In the 70s and 80s, from what I've seen when I've glanced up at it. Oh cool, grenade launcher. That's useful. Oh. I should do the uh I should do the air race again, that was fun. Got the green one this time, a little sprunk. This this is gonna be right. Oh shit. No! Oh wow! They put that crane there purposely. They, that goddamn crane. 
doing that again. Oh, come on. Uh, I got silver. It's good for GTA 5. I got I to figure out what's next. All right, I've decided the game two should be Rocket League. So let's start out by going into our settings. All right, FXAA high, high quality. You can custom we'll max out the max frame rate. We've got texture and world detail at quality and everything else is on. I realize this isn't as useful since it's at <clears throat> 60 frames per second, so let me see if I can... I don't know. Ah, V-Sync is left off. Okay, to apply. That's better, okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus. That moved the ball in the correct direction. I'm happy about it. Do that. Did it again. Centered it. Come on, team. Drive it home. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so I did around there with the settings. Uh, well, I had VSync on for a bit, but I fixed it eventually. Uh, let's move the texture qualities up to high since we're getting plenty of frames at this point. I mean, obviously, that would be good for a high uh, frame rate situation if you had like a 120 or 144 hertz monitor you know how to play this game. You know, the elfin thrower is on the other team this time. Yeah! It's gonna, it's, it's gonna play it safe and uh, stick back here as the goalie. Goaltender. Oh shit! <laughs> Never mind. That was not a very good goalie in that situation. <laughs> All right, it's still yay. Ace still scored somehow. It's almost. It's almost. No. Didn't help. What happened? Oh. Well, that's no fun. Connection timing out and stuff. Well, unfortunately, my uh, connection cut out, so I didn't get to finish that last game, but we were definitely going to win that one. We were, we were doing pretty good, so I'm going to call that one a win, and uh, let's move on from Rocket League. Moving on to game number three. This is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I uh, figured we'd try out some Direct X 12, and uh, also a game that's a bit more visually, you know, stunning and, and looks pretty nice and everything. Also, I haven't played it nearly enough, so uh, when it comes to our settings in the graphics, we have the high preset going on. And like I said, we're in DirectX 12, uh, uh, and of course 1920 by 1080. Still pretty close to the beginning here. I might be noticing I'm definitely not getting uh, 60 frames per second. I'm dipping down into, okay, the, into the 50s and sometimes even the 40s. So that kind of sucks. It's also leading to some tearing because I have V-Sync off. Jesus! Jesus! It's like Pirates of the Caribbean, something like that. I'm going to take a moment to uh, drop our settings down just a little bit so that we can hopefully get ourselves above 60 FPS. So uh, let's just bump the texture. Actually, let's let's stick with the presets just to keep it uh, things simple. So we were at high before, so we're just going to drop to medium and uh, we'll see how that works. Is there a secret? Like, uh, uh, I don't play enough Tomb Raider. Oh, God damn! I keep scaring the damn hell it. out of me. That was too close. They're blasting their way in. Oh no! All right, I gotta get up there. <laughs> I swear. Oh, there we go. That's how this works. Let's get to open the floodgates. So it looks like dropping the settings to medium has given us a few more frames, although we are still dipping below 60 from time to time. I again forgot to push well on this, but I've been recording for about six minutes. So. Oh, I was not paying attention there, and I died. Uh, that's. 
That's not what you do there. Aha! That's what I missed. Yeah. E. I mashed E super good there. Hold shift to swim faster. Yes, sir. Or ma'am. Or whoever wrote the uh, text in that little title there. Oh, look. It's the same part from the... Uh, from the, from the, 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 the benchmark. Alright, I'm gonna jump back into the graphics and give us a shot at low settings just to see how things look as well as uh, what kind of additional frames we might be able to get. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I was I was totally <laughs> waiting until the last second on that one. It's okay. I survived. I wish I was an archaeologist. It's so Life is so glamorous, full of danger and mystery. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, we got. Uh, we got this. Oh, uh, never mind. Walls are collapsing. Just a large, large piece of rock. Okay. That was a dramatic escape. I feel like it would look a little bit better if the settings were still on medium or high. And my time has just run out. So Wrath of the Tomb Raider, obviously a more challenging game to run. Uh, and you're not going to have quite as easy of a time getting over 60 FPS even at 1080. Um, but as you can see, you do have options, and I imagine by fiddling with some of those in-between settings, rather than just going from high to medium to low, you might be able to get a nice balance between uh, frame rate and textures. Moving on to Overwatch, a game that I have played, but not recently. So we now have Doomfist available, uh, but let's check out our graphics options. Um, first off, we want to, of course, not limit FPS, or we'll just max that out at 300. And then for graphics quality, we'll leave it at high. Although uh, we do want to make sure that render scaling for now is just set to 100%. So it's actually rendering at 1920 by 1080. We might play with that later on if we want to try to get some higher frame rates. But uh, let's see how this goes. Bad guys. Well, I died, but I died at least attacking the target. I'm not even paying attention to my frames per second. I'm getting over 100. That's pretty good. Uh, memory usage is 1.25 gigabytes. And my CPU is uh, not doing too bad. Around low, low 60s as far as temperatures go. I added CPU temperature for this time around, by the way. Oh, let's break it! Damn! Yay! Victory! Victory! So I'm pretty happy with my frame rate. I mean, it seemed like I was getting... I'm, get, I'm getting up over 100. And that's just natural. Eye settings, everything's pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, I mean, Overwatch isn't the, the most difficult game to run, but uh, it's nice that we're not even having to use display scaling or anything like that to get this. Go! Go! Okay, uh, move the graphics quality to medium, so we're just gonna see uh, for you high frame rate lovers out there, if uh, this if this gets us like maybe over 144 FPS, if you're playing on a on a high frame rate monitor, you should give Doomfist a try. I, I've seen the the barest minimum of information about what he's able to do. This is the one I can charge up. And then I charge forward. Hey, this also slows me down. Alright, we are like right up there, right above. Alright, we're getting up above 140 FPS, so that's nice. I mean, let's get back out in the open so it's actually doing something.
Oh, I just I I bet people do that all the time. <laughs> it's just like the newest move you can make. <laughs> there, there I go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Did not kill that healer. That was a good enough time as any to stop anyway. Uh, I decided to do one more game of Overwatch, and I've now switched the settings to Ultra uh, in the options here. So we're at Ultra, and we are not doing render scaling at all, so just to see how this turns out. If you're more interested in quality, than, uh, than frame rates. Let's see if you can still get well above 60, since we were easily hitting well above 100 um, when we were on high settings. Together, we are strong. Still looking pretty good, although we're not outside yet. So uh, since my last game did end with the system restarting one once again, most likely due to the overclock, I did uh, add a little bit more voltage. Just a little bit more. I killed the medic! Ah. I hate their healer. I hate their healer. I want their healer to die. Oh god. <laughs> Damn it. Uh. Alright, we've now seen what Overwatch can do, or at least what the system can do with Overwatch at both high, low, and ultra settings. Let's move on. Switching things over to Doom now, because I wanted to try out a Vulcan title. So as you can probably see on the screen, I have switched to Vulcan mode. And as for our settings, uh, we are still at 1920 by 1080. Turn V-Sync off. Uh, we're using FXAA. And this stuff is all in you know, a motion blurs on low right there. And then as for advanced, we're on Vulcan. And we have the ultra setting going on. So uh, I'm going to play. This is a game I'm part way into, not too far, and I sure hope I remember what the heck is even going on. Um, but already things are looking uh, not too bad. We're hitting well over 70 FPS. Although, well, wait, what, wait, what just happened? We just dipped. Oh, there's things to kill. Um, I am a bad aim. How do I do that? Jeez, run away. Okay. I was, I was trying to make a point right there because um, the, the point I was trying to make is that VRAM is uh, well over 2 gigabytes as far as what's being used right now, so this is not something you could accomplish with the $110 GTX 1050. You would need a 4 gig 1050 Ti, uh, at, least, at least at the, these settings. Wait, how do I... Oh yeah. E button. There we go. Uh, I don't think I can go. Oh no! I hate those guys! I hate those guys! No, no, no way! I'm terrible. Terrible at aiming at things that move. Mouse settings are a little twitchy right now, too, which isn't helping. Oh, I didn't get the. I didn't get over to do the finishing move on him. I really need to change my mouse settings. Yeah. So let's uh, just switch over from ultra to high, see if we can get a few more frames. We have been uh, dipping below 60 frames per second from time to time, so maybe dropping back to high will help us avoid that. Also. Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. I think he's like warping around or something. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, gun upgrade. Super shotgun. Yeah. Alright, here goes. Ah! 
I don't know, I did not see you. Whoa! I ran out of ammo for my super shotgun. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Thank you for dying, big dude. Alright, so I think my little experiment worked as far as changing the settings from ultra down to high. Definitely have a higher frame rate and keeping well above 60 FPS. So with VSync on, which I would usually play at if I wasn't uh, testing max frame rates, uh, that'd be a pretty good situation. Alright, let's uh, move on. Next up we got game number 6. This is Sniper Elite 4, uh, DirectX 12, or at least I'm playing it in DirectX 12 mode. 1920 by 1080 of course, VRAM is already up over 2 gigs. And uh, yeah, I just got this recently for benchmarking, so I paid 60 bucks for it. So I thought, why don't I go ahead and play some of it? I'll just do a new campaign, and I'm gonna go on normal because I'm a wuss, and I'm not gonna bother with most of this stuff. I'm just gonna play. As far as game options go, uh, 1080 of course, render scales at 100, and then uh, where graphics details are set to high. Um, advanced options, VSync is off, and Async Compute is on. Uh, again, we're in direct Need to make sure those men. Oh, what a lovely setting here. Alright, so we're already starting out a little bit below 60 FPS. So... And then I get to shoot... No. Holding my breath will steady my shot. Boom. Uh, frame rate is not so hot. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but it is like just below 60. So I am going to just bump our uh, settings to medium, and we'll see how that does. My cover is low. get in the car. Who's shooting me? I think I'm doing this wrong. Hey, right. so I'm... <laughs> so see, my problem is that I'm playing this like Grand Theft Auto, and that's not how I should be playing this game. So yeah, uh, that's about all the time I guess I have for Sniper Elite 4. I, I had some difficulty getting the hang of this game. Um, it's a stealth game. I'm not so great at stealth games, but uh, I, I'm staying above 60 frames per second, and, and I think that's just fine for this situation. And again, I've been playing at medium settings, so start off high. I found medium would definitely keep you above 60 FPS, but I think I got one more game left in me to try out for this round, so let's move on. Alright guys, the last game I'm going to be trying in here is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and this is an insanely popular game right now, even though it's not fully completed, but uh, you can pick it up, so I did, and I'm going to be playing with these settings, uh, 1920 by 1080 and then uh, most everything at high, shadows are at medium, and I did turn the foliage to low. This is my first ever time playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, so I'm probably going to be noobing it up. Uh, not too different from most of the games I've been playing today. But uh, I did at least watch like one video tutorial kind of on the basics of it. So uh, I think I think with that in mind, let's get started. Maybe I will try to aim for these houses over here. There's another person right there. Oh no, there's another person. Another melee. Can I climb on top of these boxes? Wow, okay. Got a baseball hat, which does nothing for me. I know there was another person who landed right over here, but I have no idea where they are. Also, I think there's going to be like a, a blue circle of death that starts closing in soon, too. And hey, I got a smoke bomb if anyone comes at me. Uh, except I just didn't mean to do that. I just wasted my only smoke bomb. Damn it. Now all I've got is a stun grenade. How do you punch? I can punch, okay. Yep, I died. 
Hey, I made rank number 69 though. I mean, if that's not an accomplishment, my first time playing Player Unknown Battlegrounds, I think. Okay, over here in graphics, I'm gonna switch and at least into high. I'm just gonna switch most of these to medium. Let's just go everything medium. Except foliage. Foliage is on low. And view distance. Okay, that's those are my settings. Cool. We're good. Just chill in the bathroom. How long could I hang out in the bathroom and just survive? It's a great game if you're like paranoid all the time. Ooh, first aid kit, shotgun, shotgun chills, handgun, and this bathroom is stocked up. I feel like I should do something. I should move, but I feel so safe in, in my little house where I have a shotgun now and stuff. Also, my frame rate is not exactly where I'd want it to be. We're still uh, in the 50s. All right, uh, I think I'm going to bump down to, to low and uh, except I'll keep the view distance at medium oh that feels a lot smoother I have a feeling that view distance uh, was certainly something that was uh, causing something I don't know what it was causing I'm, I'm overloading because I'm outside and I'm worried all right I need to go this direction so I'm just gonna go that direction so look around I'm just lying in a bush right now how much how much of player unknown battlegrounds is just lying in a bush if so, it's the most exciting bush lying game that I've ever played. I'm wondering if I sh I'm, I gotta try to make it to one of these buildings, I feel like. Need the safety of a building. Okay, if anyone comes in here, they're getting a shotgun blast to the face. Just happy I got a car. Hey look, it's another car. I bet that doesn't belong to anyone. No one, no one who's lining me up in their sights right now. Just gonna hang out over here on the beach, I think. It does appear clear that this town is going to be like the final spot for people. I get down. I'm just going to hide here by this rock and pretty much figure that I'm safe. So no one comes from swimming out of the ocean. Rock will protect me. I can see the wall closing in around us. Oh, it's going to be like right on my ass in a couple seconds. But it's not going to end up on the town. It's going to end up like out here in the middle of nowhere. Blue circle closing in. I think it's going to separate me from my, my vehicle, which probably isn't the best. Uh, I got one minute. There's somebody. Oh, I hope they kill each other. Oh, no. This is, this is not good. Um... I'm stuck in a difficult position. Oh no. Oh god. Run away. They're shooting at me. Ah! Ah, it was a third person left. No, it was a fourth person. I was number four. It's my second time playing. Uh, I did it mainly through cowardice, and, <laughs> and that was how I survived. But um, hey, that's probably the best I will ever do at, at Player Unknown's Battleground. So, um, you know, I guess I can't complain too much. <laughs> Dang. So, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is definitely a lot of fun. I will definitely need to come back to this and play it some more. As you can see, once I dropped down to low settings, I was able to get a very decent frame rate in the 80s and 90s for the most part. You could probably with even, uh, play with a, a combination of like medium and low settings to get uh, a little bit better looking experience without getting yourself below 60 FPS. Overall, though, uh, keep an eye on you know all of these stats that were up here across the games because obviously that will give you guys an idea of what the game is actually doing behind the scenes as it's being played. Uh, for a lot of the games that I played in today's tests, most of the time the RAM that was used never went above uh, maybe 3 to 6 gigabytes, so that's cool knowing you can pretty much get by with 8 gigabytes of system RAM. CPU temperature was also uh, very reasonable, I would say, considering I'm using a stock cooler. 
VRAM usage, also something to keep an eye on, especially if you're looking at a budget graphics card, because there are definitely a ton of games that go above that two gigabyte limit at this point. And that is where you will start to see a big performance drop off when you're talking about the super budget cards like the GTX 1050 two gig. But uh, really quick, let's exit. And here we can see some of the stats I've been recording as I've been playing. So for instance, the max GPU core clock was a 1797, although it was actually running uh, more like around the 1650 to 1670 range. Uh, fan speed was reasonable. This is definitely not the quietest system I've been playing it with, with it sitting here right next to me. Even with these headphones on, which I realized I don't need to have an, on anymore. Uh, I, they, they are open headphones, but I could definitely hear the system through them. Oops. It's a GPU fan. Apart from the uh, little buzzing noise that the GPU fan has started to make, which is kind of annoying, I'll have to see if I can fix that. Uh, the system's not terribly quiet, so, you know, that's just something that you could only get by upgrading the CPU cooler, possibly the GPU fan, uh, system fans maybe as well. Uh, at, as far as the uh, CPU temperature, the max that it got up to uh, was 67.8 degrees, and that is, again, with that overclock, it is running at... I have it set to 3.825 gigahertz, uh, but actually it's running at 3.815, uh, but the voltage is quite reasonable. Uh, max voltage was 1.287, and most of the time it's running at about 1.25 to 1.26. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this style of benchmarking so you guys can just see some of the gameplay and see some of the performance as it happens is useful to you. I hope it's also been a nice balance between watching the gameplay, getting through from game to game and showing you guys a nice sampling from each one, as well as trying a few different settings with each game to give you a better idea of what you might expect when it comes to frame rate and getting a frame rate that's either above 60 FPS if you have a 1080 60 monitor or if you have a high refresh rate monitor getting something that's more like 120, 144 or even a little bit beyond that. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, of course, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Uh, and of course, put your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think again of this style of benchmarking video because this is something that I wouldn't mind doing like every couple weeks and trying a different uh, system build or a different GPU and uh, CPU configuration. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.